We were looking for a place in Mexico because we lived in Mexico 20 years ago. I'm from Chicago and I was tired of the cold weather and I wanted something warm and tropical. After a search around Europe for a place to live that was the kind of things that we were looking for, uh, we tried the Yucatan and the Yucatan fit the bill. When we came down, looked at some real estate, fell in love with the city, stayed for two weeks, bought a house. <laughs> What attracted us here mainly was the safety and the affordability of the real estate and the quality of life we found when we came to visit. For me, Merida had the architecture, it had the street life in Centro, very low cost of living and amazing architecture. I think the, the biggest surprise was uh, the people and the, mm -hmm. the, the people in the Yucatan, how friendly they are, how welcoming they are. The city was big enough so that it wasn't like a small town and lots of culture and just interesting, an interesting city. We like the style of living here, we like the cost of living here, but we also like the market here. It provided a lot of different variety at a very good price. Well, I uh, came because I needed health care and also because I, I got the recommendation of my daughter. They recommended uh, medical travelers in uh, Merida. Our life here is, is much more relaxed, it's quiet, we're still maybe learning the process of relaxing and this is the perfect spot. Ken had somebody working for him about 30 years ago and he said, if you ever want to come and see the real Mexico, this is the place. What's not good about retirement and <laughs> not working? But yeah, we have, we have a great uh, social life here with lots of friends. There's, there's always activities. I feel extremely safe. I feel very safe here. I feel as safe here as I would in any country. I have lived in various parts of the world, and most places at one time or another, you have that sensation where the hair stands up on your arms. In Merida, never. Healthcare is superior here than it is in the US or Canada. It was extremely effective, extremely fast, reliable, it was top-notch. We have experienced both, both sides of the system, and. Um, we can get a card, apparently. We, we haven't got there yet, but apparently we can actually um, um, take advantage of the, um, of the, the local, of, of local health care. And you can get home visits from a doctor, which is amazing. The care of every doctor we've ever seen yeah. has been excellent. Down here, the thing that is so critical, I feel, is the human contact part of it. Well, many of the Yucatan offer something for everyone. Uh, many of the expats choose to live in El Centro because they like the ancient old architecture, they love the fact they can walk everywhere, and it's a nice change uh, from the a modern suburb in the U.S. But uh, if you want, we have a new Jack Nicklaus Country Club with uh, an amazing club and tennis courts and pools. So you can have gated communities, you can have new construction, you can have historic construction. We have haciendas. Uh, whatever you want, you can find it here. All products, you have fancy uh, gourmet store that sells anything from uh, Thai cuisine, curry or Indian curry, or you can find, I mean really, the sky's the limit in what you can find. And the fish is out of this world because it's so fresh. Costco and Sam's and Home Depot and uh, the other major stores are helpful because we can find brands from all over the United States, Canada, and Europe. You don't necessarily need a vehicle. Gasoline is less expensive here than it is in the United States. Uh, many services are less expensive. A mechanic is less expensive. Doctors are less expensive. Tailors are less expensive. The weather's great. It's affordable. The people are welcoming. Uh, the architecture is beautiful. There's things to do every day. You don't have to be a millionaire to retire to come to the Yucatan. You can live very well eat very well, have fun, and still do it on a fairly good budget. I have a totally different life. Um, I speak a different language, I could do different things. Uh, I think life's too short not to have a big adventure, and I think if you move to Merida, Merida, you will find a big adventure. It's not like the concept that people have of what Mexico is, it's actually like living anywhere in North America where you've got all the services that you need, and you get to live in a, an amazing, beautiful paradise that has all this great stuff to see. I, I don't know how to explain other than if 
you, if you come here, it, it touches your heart. It's probably the nicest place that you can come to make yourself feel familiar. Don't overthink it. You know, come down and spend some time. And sometimes I think, you know, you don't choose a place, it chooses you. And that's how I felt when we came here. I mean, it was just really magical that way.